It's often a big risk for the residents of Banana Estate and adjoining communities engaging this makeshift bridge to connect other access. Well, it's all they have for now, are raising their calling on the government to please come to the rate. These are residents of Banana, Got Time, and about 10 other estates in Ijede LCDA, Ikorodu area of Lagos. They're protesting the lack of basic infrastructure in the community. It's been horrifying for them trying to connect neighboring communities. This makeshift bridge is their best bet, though it poses a lot of risks for them. According to the LCDA chairman, the community had to contribute to get the project going since the government appears silent on their plight. The road that links many of our communities, I say many of our communities, not less than six community development association in Igbe, that links us to Ijede Road, that link us to Elepe, that link us to Ikorodu, that link us to even outside the states. This is the major roads that we have, but as you can see, what we have just done is a wooden bridge and it's a communal effort. We are contributing little from our very, very low income to make bridges on because it's a, it's a capital intensive project. It's not a project that we as a community alone can do. So we have just tried from our P not to make this road, which is the fastest, the shortest, and the safest in our community that links Ijede Road. We have not gotten any help from anywhere. The only person, the only area where we are just getting support is the Ijede Local Council Development Association Chairman. He has been very, very supportive to us in the maintenance of this bridge. We have written letters to uh, the state government through our chairman. The chairman has come and uh, on his own and he has come around to even take pictures video coverage of this place to help us. We have sent letters to even to the governor's office, to the Ministry of uh, Works, and to the honorable commissioners in charge of works in Lagos State. But up till now, nothing has been forthcoming. For many of those who use the makeshift bridge, it's a whole lot of trouble, as they often have their hearts in their mouth, as explained by this resident. Last month ago, when I was coming back from market, I saw a little children going to school with their school uniform, fed down inside that water. Just imagine we are still in February. December, by rainy season, what will happen? We have been passing through all this pain every day, every time. When we call government, they will tell us they are, they are working on it, they are working on it. My sister, for how long? Even the village where I come from, we don't see this kind of thing there. 1960s, that's when we see something like this. I can't pass through Paco. Even the children, generation of children today, they don't pass through Paco. Like my daughter, I can't ask her to pass through here. She'll be telling you, Mommy, we are not in the village. And we are in the city. We are doing it. We are behaving as if we are in the village. My sister is very, very painful. Just imagine if you are in my shoe. What, how will you feel? As far as they are concerned, it will be quite beneficial if the government constructed a road for them, as it will open up the area and even decongest the major highway. The reasons they have sought the support of the local authority. We want the government to show their impact by opening up the road here. This link road, especially, has a very big um, advantage for us and the community at large. If that should be done, they will be surprised that even the jetty will be discongested. The traffic that we go through, going through, we need to pass through this place on Monday before you could link from this axis to Itamaga, that's the, the link, the, uh, the Ikorodu garage. It will take you 34 hours. So what are we saying? If this road is open now, they will be able to access it to Igbe. Igbe will link to Ebute, Ebute will link to Ikorodu uh, 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 Road, which is very, very easy. And it's, a, it's a short distance. You can imagine the meters, very short. So when this road is open, for God's sake, every I mean, people will enjoy the, the access. If it's a bridge that will, that will make it accessible, fine. If it's the canal they are going to build, fine. But the roads should be accessible to cars, uh, trucks, and uh, all pedestrians, so that people will be able to move to their, to their various uh, destinations. Responding, the LCDA chairman says he has kept communication open with the state government through several memos.
to present the case of the affected community. When we go there and we saw the situation by ourselves, we now wrote a letter to the state, precisely the Ministry of Works and Infrastructure, Lagos State, and they replied us that the, the ministry is aware, based on the letter we wrote to them, and they sent some of the officials of the Ministry of Works to come and see things by themselves. When they got there, I think the place, the road was measured. So to really know the exact meters or kilometer of what they are going to do, if at all, the setting for the action. So thereafter, personally, I went to the PS, Ministry of Works. That's what I'm, I'm referring to 2017. I went to the PS, Engineer Hotono, and told him that, Oga, this is the situation in my local council, that some people are still crossing through the plank. And he promised that as for the 2017, they may not be able to do much. But 2018, by the fair grace of God, the Lagos State government is going to do something on it. The governor is doing it all over because he's a dynamic man. He believes so much in infrastructural development of Lagos State, not of a particular area. But since the governor, the state is aware of the problem we are having, I know very soon they will attend to us. As it stands, the hope of the people still hangs in the balance. Hopefully, the coming days will present them a solid bridge across the murky waters and put smiles on their faces.